That pulled out of the block. That's not good. That's a huge problem. Sure did. She's got a load of threads on her. That's a huge problem. That sets me back big time. I cannot use this as is. Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. I just had a head stud pull out of my M54. Threads came out with the stud. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I don't want this to happen to you as well. So let's understand exactly how this happened, how we can fix it, and how we can prevent it from happening. Long story short, I just built this engine. And literally, as I'm torquing the head studs, I get to my final torque of 65 foot-pounds on Nissan 350Z main bearing studs in the top of an M54. And bada bing, bada boom, stud comes out. Tear the whole motor back down. Oh crap, my life's ruined, yada, yada, yada. No, just kidding, it's not that bad. But I'm happy it happened in the torquing phase, didn't happen on the going down the road phase. So let's determine exactly where these studs start to pull because I don't know what a good torque spec is for these. I've been using 60 to 65 foot pounds on these engines and maybe I've just been lucky. I've never had a head stud problem. However, on this one, she pulled, so. Let's figure out where these actually pull at. Here we have a scrap M54 block, and we are going to put ARP studs in it and intentionally tear them out, if possible, to determine what the failure point is. And let's throw some torque at it and see if we get a failure. So I'm gonna go right off the bat here and start at 65, where I just had the one pull out of my new motor. 65 seems to be no problem. Let's take it up to 70. 70, no problem. Let's go straight up to 80. Yeah, she took 80. Let's take her up to 90. Wow, 90 foot pounds. I'm gonna go all the way to 100. This is where I torque an iron block with these same similar studs. Wow, she actually took 100. 110, that's where this ranch runs out of steam. Oh. She actually took 110 foot-pounds there. That is insane amount of torque. That's more than, you know, I'd ever run on one of these M10 studs. That's just crazy. So it's interesting that the block put up with that because I just had one pull out at only 65. Let's pull this off and try another hole. She took 90. Man, no problem. All right, let's try another hole. There's 90, right on past. No problem there either. This block literally abused to hell has a hole in the side of it. Has seen four to 500 horsepower for three years. Tons of miles. The holes are in great condition. I'm actually gonna change my procedure for these motors based upon the forbidden slinky. Uh, basically, I'm gonna set up a fixture with two sockets, torque every single one of these to 85 foot-pounds. If they tear out, great. If they don't, great. If they tear out, they get fixed. If they don't tear out, they're gonna hold. And that's what I'm sticking with. So I actually had two tear out, both between cylinders four and five. I don't know why. I don't exactly understand what makes some of these blocks better than others. Is it the material, the casting, the way the threads were cut, the life that the engine has had? I do know this engine has been overheated numerous times. The engine I torqued to 110 though has also been overheated numerous times. So I don't know, uh, it's kind of a hit or miss, I guess, but I think your cheapest insurance policy is put your studs in, torque the hell out of them, over torque them all. If they hold, awesome, you got a good block ready to go. If they don't, they weren't fit to be in there anyway, tear them out, put new threads in, call it a day. This is certainly not a good situation, but it's not the end of the world either. Let's fix it with this $2 49 cent bolt from Lowe's. This is a 9 16 12 grade 8 bolt.
So essentially what we did was make our own time cert, or spank cert. So it's just 9 16 12 on the outside, grade eight. And then it is M10 by 1.5 on the inside. So this threads on just like any nut wood on the stud and it takes up the entire length of the ARP studs, which in this case was about 31.6 millimeters. Um, <clears throat> I know the time search that you would put in a BMW are about 30. looks but those threads look immaculate let's do a dry fit of the new stud and insert make sure to really degrease all that with some carb cleaner the loctite's not going to do anything for strength but what it is going to do is keep this insert in for next time i got to pull this motor apart or whatever happens Gonna go pretty pretty generous with it because like I said, if this thing pulls out, the block's totaled. I don't care about ever getting this back anyway. Snug it down. All right, we'll let that set up for an hour or two and then we'll get right into durability testing. It's time to test our work. We are going to 20% over torque these, so 65 times 1.2. 78, let's go right to 80 foot pounds on our two repaired studs here. And if they take that, that gives us confidence to continue building the engine. Crack a magic soda here for good luck. Oh yeah. There's 80. I wanted to get it in one swoop, but I did not. All right, so now I have confidence that this block is okay. I will continue with the build on this motor. Guys, that wraps it up for this one. So sometimes in life, it's not about what cards you're dealt, it's how you react to them, how you fix them, how you move on with things. Um, I think this was a pretty good repair. Very cheap to do, like I said, just two bolts from Lowe's. Cut them up, drill them, tap them, stick them in the block, you're done. You could do this in the car if you wanted to. Uh, what I would do is I would take a flat block and I'd, I'd bore a hole in it, maybe put a drill bushing in it, or maybe not even if it's only one or two holes. And that'll square up your drill bit. You could do this drilling in the block with a hand drill if you had to, or on a drill press, whatever you got. But all in all, I think this is a very sturdy repair. I think it's pretty equivalent to what you'd get with an official time cert kit. Uh, as you know, those are kind of expensive though. Um, and not super, you know, I can't have one right now, like I needed one. So I needed to fix this engine block tonight. Unfortunately, this set me back a couple hours, but it is what it is. So I was perusing the internet for other inserts for repairing threads and things like that, because I really, I, I know the time cert is a good product. I just do not appreciate them using like a proprietary outer diameter uh, tap and that kind of thing. I, I know they're a good thread repair, but there's gotta be other ways. And interestingly, I found these longer threaded inserts from Easy Lock that are ironically a 9 16 12 outside thread with an M12 15 in the middle. And these are about an inch long. So I think these are a really good insert for the M54s. The part number for this is 330 10. I bought 15 of these for another motor I'm going to put together, so I will give these a try. But what I like about these is they don't use any proprietary drills or taps to install them. So this is a standard 3164 twist drill with a 9 16 12 tap. This is literally exactly what I just made, just five millimeters shorter. Uh, I got these for $2.63 an insert. 
So, I mean, I can't buy a bolt and stand there at the lathe and make these for that price. So I think this is really the way to go. Yeah, they are five millimeters shorter, but I think having a full 25 millimeters of depth is gonna be sufficient because we're all the way out at that 916 outer thread. So maybe if, uh, if you're looking to repair one of these motors, you don't wanna spend the bigger money on the time cert kit, I think this is a very viable option. Uh, you could probably, you know, buy all the tools to do this for like 50 or 60 bucks and you're home free. Anyway, let me know what you think of this repair. If you think this thing's going to hold up or not, I'm certainly going to put this motor through its paces. We'll see. I got nothing to lose here other than my time and more gaskets. Hopefully we don't have any more studs pull out. I think it is good practice if you're building one of these motors with ARP studs, torque all these things to 80 foot-pounds and see if you get a failure. Um, if it's gonna fail at 80, it's probably not gonna hold up to heat cycle in at 65. So I would torque all these to 80. If they hold with that, I think you're pretty confident. You can achieve 65 with some margin of safety factor. I think you're in good shape. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you think this is gonna hold up or it's a total hack repair, let me hear it either way. Thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. I'll see you next time.